Welcome back to Sunless Skies. In the last episode, we came to the Avid Horizon and spent a lot of time with the cults at the Quiet Sea, especially the Sanctified. Now I'm at the Home Bureau, and that's where we left off the last episode, so let's see what we can do here. Probably not all that much. I don't think I have any quests for this place. But uh, after this, we're also going to go to the Avid Horizon gate itself, and there should be an encounter for that. Added in the Wayfair update. The Market of Truth. Listen to a preacher or purchase a caged catch, caged catch from the preacher. 150 sovereigns. I think it was 200 sovereigns to straight up just buy as many caged catches as I wanted from... I don't remember where it was, actually. Was it at the House of Rods and Chains? Yeah, export caged catch. So I think it was 200 to buy them outright. So this is a deal. Not like an amazing one, but it's a deal. Mm. If I listen to the preachers, I can reduce my terror because I actually kind of super need that. Let's uh, let's do that. If my terror wasn't high, I would get the caged catch. 61% listen to the preacher. And yeah, went down by 10%. Hardship, sorrow, truth. A displeased cultist shouts. Embrace betrayal. Slip into the comfort of obscurity. Distant nonsense. The detainees of the home office have no time for their prattle. The preacher shuffles off in a hail of cheery insults and the occasional thrown rock. Do you have any deals? Barrels of unseasoned hours. Hmm, I'm about to go exploring after this though, into this area. So I don't want to take that because I want more fuel and supplies. You know what? I'm just wondering if I should just straight up head back to the mausoleum. That's what I'm going to do. After I'm done here, I'm going to head back to the mausoleum. Use my immaculate souls to get my terror down to basically nothing. And I think I took... Yeah, I took a bunch of damage on the way here too. Yeah, so I'll get my terror down and I'll repair my ship. And then I'll do the exploring here. That seems sensible. Let's go to the home office. Port report. Drop off the devil. Devil, leave your engine. You may pick him up again at any time. Best to let him get it, whatever it might be, out of his system. Huh. Uh, I'm using them though, aren't I? Yeah, they're the only signaler I have. I'm going to keep them on board. Watch the quiet sea. Does that give me terror or take it away? That increased it. But at least I got a savage secret. Take tea. 30 sovereigns. That reduced terror by a little bit. We've already done all these things before, which is why I'm not reading them, by the way. Oh, right. I can just keep doing take tea. 43... 41. Oh, yeah. Isn't it like a random amount that it gives you? Yeah. 35. I'm glad it's a bit lower because I'm guessing we're going to gain a lot of terror at the Out Horizon gate. Speaking of, let's go there. Because it looks like we're done here. Right, there's a weft of time right here. Let's go there, because I've got the, the device, remember? The reveling, re raveling, raveling jack. It's a portable hour loom, kind of fragile, might break, but they wanted me to fix these wefts of time using it, and I have to go inside of them to do that. Yeah, all right. You've strayed into a place where the weave of time has frayed. The sky groans. The borders that separate past and future crumble and your engine is dragged in. Okay, so I have to be inside of it first before I can use that thing, so allow myself to be pulled into the weft. A 
inspect my jack? Your raveling jack is not ready yet. Okay, so we're going to have to spend some time, like more than just one turn in the weft of unraveling time. And remember that the stakes get more extreme. More extreme things will change about you the longer you spend in it. I think last time I left successfully on the second uh, batch through. All right, let's inspect the jack. Its spindly manifold arms grope wildly, seeking the snarl of the weft. The device needs more time to catch the strands of the weft. You must endure the surging tides of time a little longer first. Within the weft, past and future, not like dueling pythons. Nothing is constant. Another age washes over your locomotive and everything changes. Inspect it. Needs more time. Oh, wait, that's not... Doing that isn't advancing the time, is it? Days of Innocence. This changes every time you wait. Days of Innocence. Yeah, still the Days of Innocence. Okay, so I just need to remain in the weft. You have only to endure, and the chaos of the weft will sweep your current circumstances away as another time gains dominance. You can feel its approach, a roaring like a gathering tide. Okay, now we can try it. Oh, it takes veils. Thank God, 100% chance of success. The Raveling Jack has caught the edges of the weft. Its wheels spin, its arms dance, but its hole is tenuous. It will take a delicate hand to effect the repair. Ignoring the intrusive events you've been plunged into, you concentrate on the rattling machine. The work is painstaking and meticulous. Slowly, the jack teases together the ragged edges of time. The intruding moment is banished. The present resumes. The weft is repaired. You now have one observations on a mended weft of time. That was surprisingly easy. Oh, hello. I'm just looking though, it looks like... I mean, it looks like the weft is still there. Oh god. Uh, no. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not fighting that. Hell no, I think one of those dreadnought guest things is what hurt me down to about half health before. Okay, this is the... Yeah, this is the Avatar Horizon. There we go. Hold on, I think I ended that, like, boosting directly into the Avatar Horizon. So if, let me leave first before I forget that I did that so I can undo it. Right now! Oh, close. Two vast winged statues guard the Avatar Horizon, the door through which Londoners passed from the Neath into the wilderness. It does not open. A wooden mooring post has been hammered into the ice before the Watchers. It's a gesture towards a tradition from before the wilderness, from a sunless sea, when the condemned could beg for forgiveness on the most distant shore. Explore. What might you find on this bleak waste? Hell frozen over. This was only ever a place to pass through, never a destination. Bitter cold rhymes every surface. A merciless wind passes without effort through even your sky suit, your flesh, your lungs. You will not stay here long. The desperate make pilgrimages, uh, pilgrimage to the Avatar Horizon. They write confessions of their misdeeds and wedge them in a crack of the mooring post. Sometimes the gentlemen of Pan will stop by. They read what is written and recruit a chosen few. The mooring post flutters with paper. It's stuffed with secrets. Hmm. Read the fresh confessions. Who has it been to beg the gentleman's aid? The post provides a list of murderers, traitors, and villains. To earn the trust of the gentleman, the confessions must convince, convince as testaments of absolute truth. Some confessions are obscured by elaborate excuses and abject apologies. But none spare the reader. 
Every detail is recorded, as vivid as if it had occurred yesterday. This post is crammed with a catalog of depravity. Gain 10 dare, terror for one savage secret. And I think I can't go back until some time has gone by, right? Yes. Fair enough. Um, did I ever figure out what this was? I guess that's just a mark for the Avatar Horizon itself. It's just kind of weird that it's not really at the Avatar Horizon. Wait, do I want to go this way? The guest dreadnought is over this way. Maybe it left. Oh, no, 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 I'm out. <laughs> okay. Let's, hmm. The thing is, I can go back to London through the darkness and explore a bit. Should I do that? Let's do that. I'll be a little daring. Yeah. Go clockwise a little bit and then go to London, repair my ship, and then go reduce my terror at the mausoleum. supplies, but I should be fine. Yeah. Ooh, I can drill that. Oh, Ooh, hello. Oh, Jackety, come on. We're friends. Oh, discontent. Ah, right, the stars. Uh, dispense an additional ration of brandy. Okay, well, now my supplies aren't too good. Three. If we can get some from this tackety. their stores for fuel and supplies. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Two fuel, one supplies. Okay. Does not bring us a lot of pleasure to search a tackety ship. I'd rather not have to shoot it, but it fired upon me, and I didn't even know it was there. You know, if I knew it was there mining this thing and I was bothering it, then I would have just avoided it. Okay, you I can take pretty easily. What was that sound? Oh god. I should just let him fight for a bit. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that's new. I've never seen that second weapon on them before. It's very fast, too. taking a lot of damage. There we go. Oh. The thing in the mist. Hmm. One of those things where I could reduce my terror by 50 but increase my nightmares and there are already two. I don't want to increase it. Hmm. If I double back, it would use up fuel, 50% chance of success. I got a good amount of fuel. Failure, no surprise. Lost the fuel and gained a little bit of tear. 
You scout the mists, but find only debris from a ruined locomotive. Nothing that remains is intact enough to salvage. You return to your course before whatever caused this returns. <laughs> oh god, a senior scribe. No, 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 no. That's too much. Ah, searching the crew cabins gains me a lot of terror, I think. I don't want to do that. Recover glass? Okay. Shit, that gained me a lot of terror, and I think I probably... No, I didn't lose a crew, thank god. Vitrified wall shatters you pass, exposing you to the sky in its windblown shard. You're first forced to turn back, with only a few larger fragments that might fetch some sovereign support. Okay. Okay. I need to get this... Real quick. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean... Like, I want to get this weapon just to sell it? But I can't use it. Just a thousand sovereigns that I can sell it for, and I don't exactly need money right now. So no, I'm going to commune with it. I want to still see if that will unlock something else. Eventually. I don't know, like, it seems like it hasn't changed the past two or three times that I've done it. My commingling of choirs is going up, but it's still on, like, the same description. You felt a scorn fluke's tormented music, and it keeps giving me the same description here. But, you know, maybe if I keep upping it, something else will happen. Okay. Nope. I'm not fighting you. Man, I need to go straight for London, actually. I don't even want to use my rations to scout. I'm almost down to two. Although I think... Yes. If you use up... Uh, it'll only use up rations when you're scouting. Um, it'll only use up the rations that are currently on your, your current ration. So, like, if you have just a sliver of ration left and you use scout, it'll only use up that sliver. It won't use up also part of the next ration, which is what I just did there. So that's handy. Uh-oh. Hope I don't have to travel too far to find a path back to London. Look at that. Oh, there's an enemy up here. But look at that pipe down there. It's like blowing steam. It's got a leak or something. Or it's venting. What was seeing me? What are you? Oh, a dreadnought? Yeah, okay. I'll take you. I can gain supplies, but I'm close enough to London that I feel pretty secure. Let's raid the hold. Lacquered trinket box. Two moments of inspiration. That is extraordinarily good for me. That's a filigreed mirror. Something moves as you look into its silver depths.
damn, my terror is so high. I think it's been long enough that I will get a like 20% reduction from going to London, or whatever that pretty big chunk is, which should be plenty to get me to the mausoleum. Oh, the thing in the mist again. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm scared about the terror that's going to come from this. Keep going. It went up to 87. Okay, okay, not too bad. Whew. I think I'm going to get creepy music before I get back to London. We're almost there, though. Yeah, we've pretty much gotten to London at this point, so I'll see you at London proper. Back at London, repaired my ship, done some inventory management, turned in port reports. It looks like the signalman is done finding something for me in London. He's loitering with intent besides the station. He looks more miserable than ever. I think this was part of the quest, right? I told them it wouldn't work. Even with a palace full of hours, you couldn't get that much iron moved in a month. Do you remember the Isambard line? I said. This is twice as expensive and three times as stupid, I said. He sighs. They loved it. So they wanted to quote me in all the press. Senior engineer of the Isambard line says it's impossible. You've never seen the settlement look more forlorn. Still, he says at last, I managed to drop your name. Got me a cryptic benefactor. Thanks. Did this actually do anything for the quest, though? Like, they wanted me to drop them off in London, but this... Like, that doesn't seem related to it. Yeah. What? Let me come back up and see if I'm missing something. Alright, what's going on with you? What was his request again? When we next stop at London, I'd like to take shore leave. It's time I spoke to the squire. Who is that you ask a purveyor of follies? He responds obliquely. Yeah, what? I gave them shore leave. It wasn't specifically to do that, but I, there was no option to do that. I don't understand. What am I missing? Listen to the settlement suggestion. Suggestion. Is that related? I don't think so. No, that's... That's just them telling you basically where to take me if you want me to take shore leave. Okay, so let's do this... Again? Allow the signalman to curry favor with London's elites. I did that. Well, I gotta do that first before I choose what they do specifically. Ask them to garner ministry gratitude. I don't want that. Cryptic benefactor, that's what they just did. Or pick them up. I don't understand. Do I just need to not direct them to do anything? Or do I tell them to do ministry gratitude? Maybe just nothing. Maybe I'll just leave them there. Maybe I'm telling them to do something and that's making it so they can't do the thing they want to do? I don't understand at all. Well, I was just... Ew. I was just leaving London on my way to the most serene mausoleum to reduce my terror, and, uh, well, there's a golden dreadnought right here. Oh, God, there's another dreadnought, too. Now, this is gonna be interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to go back and repair. I don't know where that rocket's going. Yes, give me your broadside. Hit your other ship. Perfect. Oof, definitely gonna have to go back and repair. Discontent. Additional ration of brandy. Oh my god, a third one. Okay. Can I do this? 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to go backwards through these cramped alleys. Thought it'd be good just to fire in there. Worked. Got two of them on fire. Oop. Not the way to go. There we go. Yes! Damn, I think I handled that really well. I just fought a glorious dreadnought and two normal dreadnoughts while going basically backwards through tight alleyways and only lost like 17, 18, 18 hit points. Unlicensed chart. Unlicensed chart. That's the glorious dreadnought. Well, I'm not going to reduce my terror because I'm about to go do that properly. Lead a search of the crew quarters. 58% chance of success. Got a selection of immaculate souls and it lost strength of the sun. Hee hee hee. Wraith hold. Faceted decanter. Another selection of immaculate souls. All right, let me go get repaired. And on my way back, actually, let's head up the ministries and turn in the whole, like, weft thing. Submit your observations on mended wefts. The office will pay handsomely if you can produce evidence of repairs made to incidents of unraveling time. You will gain sovereigns and the gratitude of the Ministry of Public Decency and improve the state of the Clockwork Sun. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Sovereigns? Good. Other two things? Bad. Well, uh, let's do it at least once and just see what we get. 200 Sovereigns, 3 Strength of the Sun, 1 Ministry's Gratitude. Okay, that's not like amazingly handsomely being paid. Not like it's so good that I have to do this. The Chief Horologist examines your reports with forensic care, filling pages of his notebook with neat ink before he's satisfied. Excellent. One of the clerks will see to your fee, and I'll make sure the Ministry hears of your good work. Thanks. I'm never doing it again. Ever. <laughs> Let's return an intact Raveling Jack. I don't want that taking up hold space. The Captain Porter points at a nearly invisible scuff mark. Slightly damaged, he says. The clerk only returns half your deposit. His apology is entirely insincere. Just headed to the most serene mausoleum, and we have another encounter with old ghosts. For years you've been haunted by a ghostly presence, now it's paying you a visit. Hmm. Leave your cabin and- Ooh, actually, I don't want to do something that's going to increase my terror too much. I want to at least make it to the mausoleum. Maybe leave my cabin and walk the corridors would be better than saying a bunch of tales of terror. Ooh, that gained a bit. Five tear. Hurrying out, you walk briskly through your locomotive. The crew you encounter look quickly away, wondering what could have so anguished their captain. It's some time before you feel able to return to your quarters. We've arrived at the mausoleum to attend a funeral. Attend a miser's funeral. That reduces our terror by a little bit. We've done all this, so I'm just going to go through it super fast. Poor report. Biggest thing we came here for, memorial to the Prince Consort. <sighs> Donate souls for a private viewing of the tomb. From 85, oh my god, that is beautiful. From 85 to 10. So, 75 terror reduction. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, god. Makes me feel very nice. And let's get rid of the last 10%. 
Terror all gone. Contemplate the Dead Sun. That'll gain us some Terror, but... Yeah. It's only 5%. It'll give us a vision of the heavens. We could always use those. Anything to do with the Deathless? No reason to speak to the Macabre Counselor, I believe. Nope. We have a bargain. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm going to buy some supplies. And then head off into this place and try to find Whirlberry Juxtamare. Disturbance in the night. Ah, oh, right, another Langley Hall thing. Scent of burning. Uh, impromptu pit of fire. Having some fun. Let's join them. Used fuel and lost hair. Yeah, there's also a fight going on here. Oh, glorious dreadnought all the way out here. Damn. I will help you, grave robber. Two of grave robbers. Actually, no, I'm... Mm, I think that one's a grave robber and this one's a marauder. This is too good. Broadside? Gotta use that opportunity. Thankfully, each shot doesn't do much. Wow, there's a lot here. There's a lot going on. You've suffered a critical hit. Oh, oh boy. This is exciting. Ooh, strip it for parts. Yes, your mirror skill will affect how much damage you repair. That's great. Perfect for me. Yeah, that did really good. It got me up to max. Oh, I missed every single shot. That was garbage. Cabin. Barrel of unseasoned hours. Alright, Glorious Dreadnought, where are you? Strip the engine for materials, yes. Back to full. Oh, where did it go? It's pretty close to dead, I don't want to lose it. But I have no way to track it. Ah, well. Not that big of a deal. Anyway, we're kind of in this unknown batch here. Oh. Oh, an injury. This is because of the critical hit. Grim news. Your last battle resulted in a number of injuries among your crew. Your medical bay is crowded. The prognoses aren't good. Tend the wounded yourself. Plunder your supplies for medicine or hope for the best. 92% chance of tending the wounded myself. Yeah, let's do that. You have a steady hand and some education. Perhaps it will be enough. I lost a crew. Two out of three. That's how many you can save in the end. Two out of three. It could have been worse. You tell yourself as you draw a white sheet over the vacant face of the third. Ugh.
there a scribe nearby? Sounds like a scribey noise. If Whirlberry Juxtamare is here, which I'm pretty sure it is, it's got to be somewhere here. Got to be pretty close to it. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. I didn't mean to boost that way, but it worked out. Ooh. Shit, there's two. Blow up one. Unusual cargo cargo or engine's lockbox. Engine's lockbox? Invitation to Perdurance. Didn't need that. Oh well. Oh, I see the smoke trail of the Dreadnought. Aha! That must be it! Ah, forget that Dreadnought. Oh, well if you're going to turn around, never mind. Raid the Hold, Faceted Decanter, More Immaculate Souls. Brigade pools its money for beachside snacks. Candy floss, toffee apples, mysterious meat. Yeah, what kind of a place is this? Looks nice. Looks very nice. Whirlberry Juxtamare. Oh, I guess, judging by the picture and what they said about, like, pooling their money for snacks, I guess it's kind of like a... A fair city? Is it like a perpetual fair? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore Whirlberry Juxtamare. <laughs>